I can't hear what you say. It says, goats, fill a bag for a dollar. Fill a bag with goats? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? What's going on everybody? How you doing out there today? I am heading over to pick up Bob because uh, I got a call from our body shop friends and they want us to come over and pick up a hood for a car. A hood! <laughs> a hood for a car. And uh, yeah, so they said it was aluminum. So I'm going to guess it's probably dirty aluminum, but boy, it'd be nice if you imagine having a, a hood of a car that was all clean aluminum. Anyway, guys, uh, let's go get Bob so you know what time it is. I want to show you this real quick. I just picked up Bob, as you can tell. Uh, this is an aluminum hood, but unfortunately it's got steel bolts on it. We cleaned it up as best we can, but that's a lot of aluminum right there. And I'm not sure if they're going to give us clean aluminum for it. But on the way back, of course, here's a garage sale that started at 2 o'clock. It's about 3 now, and there's a pile of trash down there by that uh, curb. <laughs> so I'm like, we got to be fast. We got to be fast because we got to get back. We, we got a call from the uh, mechanic about the truck missing an O2 sensor and he says it's going to be 180 bucks to put that on but then he said I'm not sure if it's worth it being how old your truck is so we got to go down and talk to him face to face wow look at these blow molds yeah that's got awesome the eggs too, man. Boy, taco stacks would go crazy he loves his blow molds any Batman stuff um Man. What is it? I can't hear what you say. It says, goats, fill a bag for a dollar. Fill a bag with goats? Yeah. <laughs> really? Take the whole bag for a dollar. How big is the bag? <laughs> They're Walmart bags. Really? So, did you collect them? His dad collected them. Really? Yeah. Holy cow, look at it, it's a wiener goat. We had a um, lady that came that did craft and she bought a bag of them. Oh, this is a salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> what is it? Wiener dog. It's a wiener goat. No, it's a goat. <laughs> salt and pepper shaker. That's cool. Hmm. They even got carousel goats. I've never seen carousel goats before. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Cast iron goat. <laughs> Love it. This is awesome. Oh yeah, we're gonna take a bag. We'll take a bag, yeah. Maybe two bags. Huh? Maybe, yeah. How about two bags? So any of the goats on this table? Yeah, that's what he said. Okay. Otherwise he said he was gonna donate them to Goodwill, and you didn't really want to do that. <laughs> so we went to that garage sale. We both got a bag of uh, a bag of goats for a buck a piece, and then I got something very special. Bob tried getting it out of my hands, but I took it first. Hunks from the '80s, uh, 1983. Nothing says hunks like uh, a bare-chested uh, chest hair. I guess I don't know. Tom Selleck, Eric Estrada. Mm. I'm only stopping because there's aluminum here. We're, we're doing aluminum. And that's clean aluminum. Pretty close to it anyway. Oh, yes. That looks like stainless steel. That's steel. We can this take it though. That's steel. Take them both. That's fine. We'll throw them in the truck. Alright. Should we take that shelf? Got it. 
Yeah, take it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we ended up, uh, some of the things we thought was aluminum were actually iron, so we got uh, 11 pounds at 72 cents. But we got 80 cents in cans, and uh, the hood did go with scrap aluminum for 18.55. So for a total of 20 bucks, so 10 bucks for each of us. Not a bad day. Sorry? I hate seeing that myself. Yeah, we were just talking about how we hate seeing full sheets of plywood. You know, it's going to the landfill. What's that? The nails. Oh yeah, there's all the nails in there. Oh. So, found some good stuff so far. Got a thing full of uh, staples. Bunch of spray cans that are full. Piece of brass down there. Oh, is this full too? One, two, three bullseye primer. That's full. That's full too. Okay. Well, you'll notice I vacuumed out the van last night, but we're already getting it dirty again. Two chairs, some conduit, box of staples, box of nails. Well, I want some uh, this stuff here too. Wires and all that spray paint's all full. So I like spray paint. This is the, uh, yeah. Yeah. Bob says, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that, electric motor. Oh wow, there's a whole furnace in here. Yeah. Wow. And a uh, radio flyer scooter missing a wheel. And a satellite dish, apparently. Woo! Bob and I just did what I would consider to be the impossible. We pulled those up and over the top. I climbed up on the side just like scrap fiber, or scrap vulture. I'm out of breath. Woo! -wee. I'm on close. Coming down. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not bad for a couple old guys. Woohoo! Huh? Look what we missed. A blower motor, really? Yeah. You see that, guys? Crazy. I turned that scooter over there, she sits. Wow, leave it to Bob the Digger to find the one thing we missed. the appliance place I apologize for the wind yeah we're pretty
probably gonna have to go in the now well, we can probably go there. Can't believe I had this all vacuumed out last night. I think the side probably. guys Got a big boy dumpster here it's full of wet drywall oh, there's some tin It's getting colder out here. So what's going on guys? It is Friday afternoon about 4.15. I'm still doing my regular day job and uh, waiting on a semi truck to show up. When I just called, the guy said uh, that the driver's on lunch and it'll probably be another 45 minutes. It's kind of neat. A little jewelry spinner, you know. Nice. So anyway, I thought we'd uh, do a little dumpster driving. Instead of sitting there in the plant waiting for the guy to show up, I would uh, see what we're shaking in here. This big display here. All particle ward. With some metal. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Well, I'll put that in the $5 store if anybody's interested. You can have yourself a little jewelry organizer. Not bad. So good morning everyone. It is Saturday morning and uh, it's a little chilly outside. Uh, I had Bob go pick up the truck yesterday. The mechanic said it was an O2 sensor that was actually missing from the truck. And so the mechanic found a replacement, put it in, and he said immediately the, uh, the check engine light went off. So Bob is picking me up this morning. Oh, it sounds better. Hi, Bob. Hi, good morning. How are y'all this morning? <laughs> so we just took it to the gas station, filled it all the way up with gas for the first time since we got it. Right now, she seems to be doing okay. So. I will keep you apprised of the situation. You've heard of scrap vulture? Well, this is our scrap vulture right here. All right, well, so we got a dishwasher today. We'll take it. All right, folks. Good morning. Yeah. The new one? The $3 yeah, yeah. one? Yeah. There's a private drive that goes back to two houses. I'll be right over there and put it out for you. Okay. We'll be right over. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, it's nice. You just mentioned about how warm it is getting in here. It's nice and toasty when it's cold outside. 
So a guy came over, I don't know if that recorded it or not, but uh, he saw us picking up the washer. He says he's got, what, a dehumidifier? Yeah. A dehumidifier for us across the street here. So. How many points? <laughs> the guy's nice to give us the How many points? Wait till he gives us the humidifier. <laughs> then knock him off. Huh? Then knock him off. <laughs> Actually, it does work. It just uh, the the gauge doesn't shut it off and on. Oh, okay. It only works if it stays on consistent. Hey, uh, so yeah, the guy got, gave us a what dehumidifier and then two sump pumps, two large sump pumps that he says they're both burnt out. So not bad. Mind your way. Can you see what you're doing? Thanks. I thought we'd take a look at this big boy here. There was a fire here not long ago. So all this stuff's gonna be smoke damaged, but see if there's any metal or not. Some conduit. <laughs> yeah, those look brand new. I don't think those are for us. Oh, hello. Didn't look over here. Check this out, guys. It could be aluminum, I don't know. Yeah. Pretty tore up. Yeah, I'll take them. I'll film you taking them, that way you go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> really didn't expect us to be garbage picking this morning, but. Hmm? Chair. We got a chair? Yeah. Okay. That's one of those uh, build a bear, bear, bear armoire, fashion case. Huh. What's that? What is that? It's a Santa musical animated display figure. It's down the box. Amazing Spider Man. I'm about to take notes now. Well, what do you think, guys? We stopped at a garage sale here. I think this is a lot fuller than the truck or the van ever would be, but uh, we got stuff in here like our stuff is mixed in, so it's not a full load, photo load, but I think we're gonna head on down to the scrap yard. Thought we'd stop back here quick. We were here the other day. Chainsaw. Yeah. Part of part of the chain link fence. They just put up a chain link fence up. This is brand new. So let's we'll see if I can get that. I have to get a picker for those lights. Alright guys, we're down at the scrap yard and uh the truck seems to be working okay. I'm surprised. It doesn't want to take off real quick, but once she gets going, she stays going. So I think the O2 sensor did help. Alright, well she's empty. Well, as empty as we can get her for now until we get to a dumpster. So, we keep picking up stuff and it's like, eh, we don't do anything with it, so... I don't know. What is going on, Shaniacs? How are you doing out there? The day continues. Bob's following me in the truck. We're heading down to Dell's Metal. We have two large cans full of cables, cords, cords I should say. 
And uh, then we have an exercise machine, a filing cabinet, and a bunch of miscellaneous metal in the truck. And then of course I got the stuff from yesterday back here, the two furnaces. So anyway, I've uh, got quite a load, two loads here. So we're gonna head on down to the scrap yard and take care of this one. All right, here we are guys at Dell's Metal. We're gonna do the cords first, then we're gonna go out to the main yard and do the rest of it. One, one more. Grab side. Grab side. That's it. got paid here and we about fell out of our chairs. Check out this total. $109. 50 bucks in those cords. Really? Yeah. Wow. Jeez. I wonder who had the 400 pounds of sheet iron because one of us had 400, one of us had 500. That's funny. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. incredible, man. All right, so who wants to see my goat collection? Woohoo! <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. First off, I had to get this one. The salt and pepper goat. <laughs> oh, I think that is hilarious. All right, next randomly out of there, we have a new it tag. This is, uh, I don't know, blossom bucket. I can't read it. Anyway. Next up, we've got this, I would call it a marble goat. Next up, oh, I didn't realize I got two of the same ones. Oh well. I got those because they had tags on them yet. Of course I had to get the carousel goat. This is the Countryside Carousel. Oh, it's 232 of 17,500 goats. <laughs> uh, and then I got this one here. I think this is iron, what they call ironwood. Very heavy wood. Uh, yeah, nice one, huh? Hand carved. And then this go here had a cart on it again. Uh, this was that same brand of stuff, 50 cents. Oh, those glasses are coming off though. Glasses got twisted. There you go. Yeah, the goat has glasses. So yeah. And another carved one. This one's got a name on it. And. Uh, I won't even pretend to tell you what the name is because I definitely can't read it. And oh yeah, and then of course I had to get the cast iron goat, which I think it's the cast iron donkey, but uh, what do I know? Anyway, yeah. And lastly, of course, being the metal that we're in, I got a brass goat. Yeah, there are my goat. That's my goat collection. <laughs> All that. For one dollar bill. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> I know you're jealous. I know you're jealous. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful, right? Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves. Uh, we're going to send it off to Brian. He's going to do our closing out tonight. So take care and then go, uh, go get him, Brian.
Hello, this is Brian. See you at the next dumpster.